What is going on guys? Shummel Gaming here with another Redfall video. This is going to be a complete guide of how to solve the Blackwood sister puzzle. We need to find the Blackwood house. It is in Founders Knoll in the, and this is in Burial Point, the second part of the game. And basically we are going to use a bunch of photographs that are in Blackwood sister's house to solve the puzzle and get the very rare achievement sisterhood, also getting you a very rare blood remnant. Now when you get to the Blackwood sister's house, we will eventually come across a map on the ground, and if you look at it, you will notice that this is basically a map of Burial Point. Actually, it is a map of Burial Point. And there are going to be four photographs on this map that we need to grab. These will basically help us solve the puzzle. The first one we grab is the garden overlooking the double tree. This one is Blackwood House. Don't worry about this one too much because that's basically just showing you that we are in Blackwood House. This one is the cave at the edge of Direcliff. And that one was the one that took me by far the longest to figure out. Uh, the other two are not too bad. That's basically the majority of this video is uh, showing you how to get to that one. And then the third one is going to be atop the Haven's Lot switchback. Now I recommend obviously going for this when you can get at any point during burial point, but if you have a bunch of safe houses and fast travel points, that would be recommended. It will save you some time. I really haven't done too much of the main missions in burial point yet. I've pretty much been exploring the map and doing side missions and stuff. So anyways, as we explore Blackwood sister house, you may go upstairs and notice that there are three locked doors, each one with a name on them. This is going to kind of go with the three pictures that we just grabbed. On the, near the map that we found, there will be a basement which is locked that we need a basement key. Now the first key we need to find is not far. So this is the path from a directly outside Blackwood sister's house. And this is going to be the one that is the garden that uh, overlooks the double tree. Uh, follow the path up to the main road. And then when you get to the dirt path, uh, we're going to basically take a quick right and then follow the dirt path. And we will run into the first vampire that we need to kill and then take the key that is in the same area. And we will be one key down out of three. Again, this was the that was the path that was directly from Blackwood's sister's house. When you get here, you will run into Hester Blackwood. Use a couple stakes or whatever your method is and take out the sister. Originally, I thought the key would be in the sister's uh, loot. It wasn't. Turns out it's right in the gazebo on a, I believe, silver platter. So just make sure you go ahead and grab that. Again, this is the first of our three keys we need to bring back to the Blackwood sister's house. Now, going back to the Blackwood sister's house to kind of get a gauge of where this one is. Because, again, this one's going to be the, the, harder of, the hardest of the three. This is in Dire Cliff. If you have the safe house, that is recommended. But I mean, this is kind of a point of, of where it is. Now, if you go here and you follow the road, you will see a man basically hanging over a cliff with a lantern. Keep that guy in mind because we're going to use him as sort of a landmark of where to jump off the cliff and find the cave. So let's fast travel back to the safe house. And this path is going to be the path from the safe house to the top of the cliff where we are going to jump off and find the cave. Bugging out. Ooh, to smoke. This place ain't killed me yet. Now, when we pass the RV here, we are getting close to our point to look out. This little garage on the left is kind of pretty close to where we're going to jump. I'm going to go to where I put a marker and I'm going to very carefully look over the cliff, making sure I don't fall off to see the man that we are using as a landmark hanging off the cliff. 
I realize I'm a little bit too far over, so I'm gonna move to the left a little bit and I'm gonna very carefully shimmy off and jump down. As long as you have full health, you can definitely survive this fall, but again, just kind of try to use all the rocks to soften the fall, I guess. I believe there might be a path down here from there. I couldn't find it because it looks like there is when you get down here, but anyways, from looking at the man that we're using as a landmark that fell off the cliff, we're basically gonna turn right around and you will see the cave in the wall. There's a little fire. Again, this might be the path that you can take down. I just jumped, it's a lot funner too. When we go inside the cave, we will find the second of three Blackwood sisters. And after you take them out, there will be a key on the silver platter that is right to our right. All right, so we've taken out the sister and the key is on the platter. Go ahead and grab that. We are two of three keys down. The third one's pretty easy. This one is going to be in, I forget the name of the uh, Haven's Lot neighborhood, the farthest one to the left on the map. We're gonna basically put a marker right there, kind of next to that dark green marker that's in the middle. This is from the closest safe house there. I'm not gonna show you the whole path up, but there's the Haven's Lot safe house. The path is pretty straightforward. You can just follow the road up. Again, just put a marker here, and when you get here, you will have to do a little bit of climbing, but it's uh, this one, again, is pretty easy. It's just This is in Haven's Lot neighborhood. Unfortunately, uh, uh, this this game is very dark, and when you shoot you shoot these clips at night, it kind of is hard to see. But anyways, you will come to, I guess, a little trailer. There'll be a vampire on top. Behind the trailer will be a hole into the mountain that we are going to go into. Originally, I was looking around here to see if it was around here. And then I noticed that giant hole in the mountain. And again, that's where we're going to go into. You'll see three cultists all kind of huddled around the silver platter and the key. Again, here it is on the map really quick. I'm going to take them out and I am going to grab the key that is right in front of the three cultists. The actual third sister is in the back of the cave. You can probably just sneak up and grab this, which is what I did. Um, I do stick around and take the sister out after just because I really wanted to. Um, if we're doing this, we might as well take all of them out. I don't think you have to. Again, you could probably just go grab the key and run the hell out of here. It's probably what I should have did. I kind of struggled with this fight. But anyways, after you have the third key, and if you want, take this sister out. We are going to fast travel back to the Blackwood house and finish this up and grab our rare achievement and our very rare blood remnant. All right. So back at the Blackwood house, we now have three keys to go upstairs. I went with the one on the right and then the middle and then the left. I don't think it matters. I do think you have to open all three keys. I end up finding the key to the basement in Catherine's room. Maybe you only need Catherine's key and the key would be in there, but I highly doubt it. I'm assuming whatever door you open last, that's where the key will spawn. There is a journal in each room. You do. I don't think you have to read them. I read them all just in case. This one I couldn't see right away, but there it is. And then when we open the third room, the key will be right next to the journal. Again, I'm assuming the, it, what, the key will be in whatever room you open last. I thought maybe this was a remnant, but I believe it's just an empty case. And there's the journal. There is the basement key next to it. When you go, after you get the basement key, you can go into the basement and you will see another journal and the remnant case. I hope this video was helpful. I would appreciate a like if it was. If you're feeling really generous, you can hit that subscribe button as well. There's tons of Redfall videos on the channel. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.